Hey, what's going on with y'all? Fellas, ladies, what's good? It's good to see y'all, man. It's most definitely good to be back. I apologize. Hold on a second. Ugh. Gotta turn off the uh, the television. <laughs> you know, motherfucker. I said turn off, dog. Damn. Yeah. Anyway, man, I'm back. You know, just wanted to stop by, say hello. Um, also, uh, thank y'all, and say happy Thanksgiving to y'all because uh, that would be what days it is, man. Yesterday was Thanksgiving. How uh, y'all enjoy y'all Thanksgiving? I know for me, uh, I enjoyed mine. It kind of late, but that's fine. Better than not eating at all. I'll tell you that much. And uh, that was it. I ain't really do nothing too crazy. I ain't really drink like that. I had a couple beers, but that was about it. Drank some malt liquor, so you know I had to deal with that in the morning. You know my stomach was like bubbling, it was like oh shit, those malt liquors, man. I don't see. There's some people out there who just all day. I knew this motherfucker I used to live in next to, right in Arizona. This motherfucker, I would see him come out. Not really. I mean, it's obvious. I can't, you know, can't not see it. But this motherfucker didn't do nothing except drink. And he was way worse than me, man. Like, this motherfucker, <laughs> he had this big-ass caveman, like, beard and shit. Like, you couldn't really see his face. He's a cool dude and shit. No, no problems with him at all. But he just, just drank, man. He got a six-pack of Milwaukee's Best every day. I don't understand. Because I know with my body, man, I don't know if this is some kind of, like, whatever kind of thing but I can't drink like that without dying in about a year or two because I already experimented with that I was drinking every day like he was drinking every day for like not as heavy as he was maybe maybe as heavy as he was if not heavier but I almost died in a year he'd been doing that shit for like five six years and obviously longer than that he's like 60 man six pack every morning grab a six pack of milwaukee's best come back grab another one like just going through milwaukee's best chug them down man like they water just go, go crack the can throw it damn bro you about it about it man shit you about that life because i ain't with that shit i i fucking hate like i i swear to god it's in the more the older i got my body just can't handle those things like it could before and it's like i'm speaking like i'm old as hell which i'm not but it's like I've already was kind of dealt a bad card in certain departments as far as my health. Like, I can't do the same thing that other motherfuckers can do. I can't eat all types of food and then, like, just lay down and be fine in the morning. My stomach going to be fucked up from eating all that food the night before. I got to really watch what I eat, and I don't do those things because it's very difficult for me to transition into watching my food. You understand, right? I, honestly, I ain't got to see a doctor for that motherfucker to tell me, you ain't got to you don't eat no fucking meat. No red meat, you don't eat no fucking pork, you don't eat no goddamn chicken, no poultry, don't just stay the fuck away from it, man. Stop eating that starch, too. He gonna, I'll be on such a strict diet, I guarantee it, man. My body don't, don't take these things right anymore. I said this before I mentioned it. I don't think it's a, a death thing, like I felt like before, whatever. I feel a lot better, but I think the combination of depression, anxiety, all these types of things, and, and weight, you know, that shit all comes into one, but it's like, it's all about how you feel. I feel like lately I've been feeling a little better about myself. I just need to do a little exercise and all that bullshit, change the way I live, change the way I eat, you know, but, and just move on from there, man. But I ain't worried about it. It's just that I know that's how I feel after I shovel down certain things, you know, I'm be fucked up, especially if I'm at work and I eat some shit, like just go to like Burger King or something, get like they cheap ass deal. I know more McDonald's been killing a brother right now. I mean, it ain't they fault, my fault, but they got a buy one, get one for a dollar deal right now. <laughs> Boy, man, I be, and I got this little coupon too. Like I be getting the free fries with it, the free large fries and shit, man. It's like, y'all motherfuckers like $6 and change. I'm like, I can do that. I get two burgers too, two fat ass burgers. I get a Big Mac and a, double, and a quarter pounder, man. Not a double, but a quarter pounder. Is that really a quarter pound, man? Is that really a Royale with cheese? Y'all bullshitting, man. That ain't no Royale with cheese, man. I know a quarter ain't that much compared to a pound. What's a quarter to a pound, though? 
You know what I'm saying? It's like all the, you know, when you fucking with dope or you fucking with weed, like it's like a quarter to a, to a pound of weed ain't shit. A quarter, a quarter of weed is not too bad. It's always good to have a nice little quarter of weed, but a quarter of like, let's say, crystal ain't a good thing to have. Because that's like a little bit. That's like a little nostril. And a, and a fucking a pound is like, oh, not a pound, a pound of shit. What the fuck am I talking about? Shut the fuck up. My gram, rather than tripping. <laughs> yeah, man, but it's good to see y'all, man. Uh, I enjoyed the holidays, man. I, you know, ain't really do too much. I, I ate, I was, in, I was happy. I had some turkey, I had some stuffing, had some macaroni and cheese. Had some uh, <clears throat> some rice, some beans, some gravy on that motherfucker, some dinner rolls, some greens, some uh, string beans, you know, some gravy, had some cranberry sauce, you know, fuck it. I happen to like the way cranberry sauce goes down with my turkey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit goes down kind of smooth, like, you know, kind of goes down kind of smooth, like, oh, also the stuffing. Now the stuffing, I was a little upset about it because we only had the stuffing that was inside of the turkey. So I had to get the spoon and hack it out of the turkey. But I hacked it out of the turkey. I ate it and I enjoyed it. It was delicious. I love the stuff and I went back for thirds. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, I was sleeping, man. Stomach was like, it actually kind of sat well. I was sleeping like a pregnant lady or something though. I had this like lump, lump, lumpy belly hanging. I was just like kind of resting upon that shit. Had a pillow on it. Nah, I wasn't that serious, man. <laughs> Got a little small little miniature pillow too. Came with the bed set. Yeah, man. Uh, shit. I'm trying to think what else, man. Oh, you know, as far as like, I've been thinking like, I've been trying to look at videos. I think I've like discussed this before, but honestly, man, I know it's been a while since I've been gone. I should explain myself a little bit, right? Nothing real bad, nothing major. It's just, I just kind of been like out of the line like a little bit for a little bit because I kind of been thinking. It's not because I've been too busy because my job done got a little slow. I, I think I mentioned this. I came in in the off season when this job tends to just get a little bit slow. And I just happen to come in when that happened. <clears throat> I came in in, uh, in October and uh, then I was told November it would get slow and it's starting to like peak me just get slow, getting like a couple days a week. Luckily I got a side hustle. You know, the fuck is, is that my dog? That's another dog that sounds just like my shit. Big motherfucker bark just like him. Yeah, but, uh, he don't bark like that. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck's going on? <clears throat> what the fuck was I going to say? My bad, I got a little uh, distracted when I was talking about. But yeah, like I said, yeah, it does get a little slow. And um, so I've been doing my little side hustle and stuff. And uh, it's kind of been working out for me doing that. But I obviously want to get those hours back so I can get back into my savings and stuff like that and not live paycheck to motherfucking paycheck all the goddamn time. You know how it is. But back to videos, you know, I've been looking. I've been seeing a lot of videos. There's some savage videos out there I want to see. I could probably upload them. I just got to censor them a little bit because I'm worried about you know, strikes and whatnot. Uh, like I said, they, they gave me one for one of my videos. I did the news video. That's why I kind of kind of slacked on them a little bit because of that shit. I got to make sure I picked the right video or these motherfuckers might hit me up four months later with an X or two. And they don't give you no warning. Like they, when I'm talking about the warning they give you was like you get four X's on YouTube, basically. You get four X's for uh, strikes. If you get one strike, uh, your first strike out of four is a warning usually because that's the next one is a strike. That's the, that's the warning. But a lot of the time now, when you upload copywritten music and stuff like that, they don't trip on that. You don't get in trouble for that at all. It just, the money just goes to the person that created the shit. You don't get no trouble. Music thing don't matter. You used to get in trouble for that shit. They got rid of that. Now you get in trouble for the stuff you upload. They're, they're going after the creator now. They don't give a fuck about the music and shit. They got a deal worked out. We can we can handle that. The movie scenes, we can handle all that stuff. We YouTube, but you know what? We Google. We handle that, but you know what? We're going after you, motherfucker. <laughs> Seeing what y'all doing out there, because y'all the real demons out here, man. Y'all the real threat, man. There's some smart motherfuckers out here. You know you watch some YouTube tutorials. 
be watching them joints, man. I be I learned a lot of stuff. I learned how to make a damn website from scratch, man. Watching YouTube videos. Thank you, YouTube. Thank it. But you know what? You got to follow the rules, I guess. It is what it is. Got to play ball. And like every ball game, there are rules. So I try to abide by the rules. I don't try to break them. I'm not here to. I'm here to bend them a little bit, but maybe not break them. You know, difference there. <clears throat> but I will get to some videos. I like I did with the other video. I censored it a little bit. Um, I can't ever do a video that has minors in it. That was the reason why I got in trouble for it. And I don't think so much of the savagery was because it was a minor in it getting beat. And it wasn't even like that. You know, first of all, I found the video on YouTube, motherfucker. Why don't you just take the video down then? They, they did take the video down, but I'm talking about the other, the original video that I found this shit from was YouTube. Now, I think I seen it on Worldstar, actually. Worldstar always got the savage shit on there. Found that stabbing video right here on YouTube, though. That I know of. Thank you, screen recorder. You know what I'm saying? I can get the video, screen record the shit, edit it out, crop it, whatever. You gotta love it, man. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, I was fucking with them hurricane malt liquors last night, man. I don't know who I thought it was, man. Homegirl said she thought I was daring. She said, are you daring today? I said, what the fuck? Something like that. I must be fucking with this malt, man. But hey, had to save a little pretty penny. Payday that came, though. Every morning, wake up on Friday morning, see that paycheck come in. That's a blessing. Even though it was like only from like one day at work, but blessing, I worked a lot of hours that day. So that was not, not as bad as I thought it was, plus the side hustle money. It's all good. And like, I was getting some overtime checks though. One fucker was getting it, man. I was bound, you bound to get like 50, 60 hours a week, man. <clears throat> you doubles, you get even more. I don't like to fuck with that double shit, but you gotta do what you gotta do. That gives you opportunity. And a lot of motherfuckers I see that work here have been here for a minute, so I might stay, stick around as long as I don't get in no trouble. <clears throat> I did this some shit the other day I was a little worried about. Um, like a suspicion kind of thing. That's all I'm going to discuss about it. I'm going to say it was like a suspicion that I felt like someone was suspicious of me. And, you know, motherfuckers get the talking, they get the snitching, they get the fucking lighting that blunt together and talking they shit, man. Hey, man, you know, he, uh, he fucking there. He's that dude. Up there. Yeah, he you know he was doing those, you know. Uh, he, uh, yeah. So I don't know how far they can go with suspicion. They ain't say nothing to me. This could be just be my little paranoia. My bad, I ain't have no ashtray, so I had to fucking spit in the box. I ain't wanna do that in front of you though. It's kinda of trifling. <clears throat> But yeah, so that's what it's like a little worried, but not really, because like I said, I felt like the dude was acting like that way towards everybody. Because when I came out there, he wasn't talking to nobody. But I said something to him, I was like, hey, what's up? Because the day before, he was talking to me, man. And I was like, what's good, man? What's good, pistol? You know, he was like, man, shit, that ain't nothing. And uh, he, he didn't even say nothing to me. He just started, like, brushed me off. Like, what the fuck? And I said it to him again. I seen I said hello to the other dude, but he didn't say shit. But saying the other dude was actually more empowered than he was the one that said hello to me so I should not even be worried about the shit but I'm just trying to figure out what the hell his mood was about you know because the only way he would know anything is someone fucking ratted me out said some stupid shit you know opening their goddamn mouth when they shouldn't be but you know that's how people do that's why motherfuckers on the best way to get rid of a snitch is not <laughs> now I'm really gonna get a fucking ex man I'm just fucking with y'all man it ain't that serious, man. You know, I ain't gonna risk my shit over like some stupid. Like, but when a motherfucker take money out your mouth, man, that's enough right there, man. It's like, what the fuck, you fuck on my shit. You should just kept your mouth shut. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't gotta say nothing, man. There's no reason to be like, I gotta tell on this guy. It's like, what the fuck is that mentality about? I done seen a lot of bullshit. And ain't rat nobody out. In a ways, I wish I would have. I take that shit to a, to an extent where I feel like I should have stopped things that I had the power to stop. And I do regret that kind of stuff. But as far as like running your mouth to the authorities or something like that, or telling someone that's in a position of power to, that can get rid of me, that's that foul ass bullshit, man. Just keep it to yourself, man. And motherfucker, I gotta make a dollar too. I made a mistake, whatever, I did what I did. 
you know, you think I did what I did, whatever. It's a suspicion. Nobody's seeing shit. The only thing you can do is just say or assume. That's all I'm going to say. But was a little worried about that, but I'm not really too worried about it because I feel like when anything happened, they just said something to me. It's been like four days. You know what I'm saying? So, and I've been thinking like, you know, that's just sometimes how I do. You know, obviously, if I'm worried about something that can stop me from getting my money, I'm going to worry about it a little bit. Other than that, I ain't got too many worries in the motherfucking world. Uh, panic attacks, man. I was kind of dealing with those a little bit some months back. I was kind of like dealing with a little bit of, like, it was funny the other day, man. Um, other day, I took a big ass, uh, like, hit of, of the bomb, man. I know I shouldn't have did this shit because it was some new shit. I put it in the bomb. I didn't mistakenly, I didn't kind of mean to do it, but I was just, I was, I was hitting it too long, man. The bubbles is just going. The smoke was rising. I took a, I put the lighter to that joint, man. It was just, and I blew out some big ass smoke cloud and it was coughing and it was still smoking there. I inhaled the rest of it, blew it out, still coughing off that. I think I even lit it one more time. Like, what the fuck am I thinking? So, and a lot of the time, like, it's, I can't do that shit, like, after eating a big meal or if I'm drinking the night before, even drinking in general, sometimes I'll just get sick, especially if I'm doing drugs the night before of any kind of other sort, whether it's cocaine or, or Chrissy or any of that shit, it's going to cause an anxiety attack. And uh, it caused me a bad one. It was pretty scary. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, Woo, that motherfucker was beating fast my heart, man. I ain't did, had that happen in, in quite a while. Last time that happened was July. And before that, now, it was funny because, like, before all this shit, for, like, the past, like, year and a half, I wasn't having these problems. Um, I don't know what could have caused it. It's just a lot of things in my life just, you know, and I have, I've been off of those pills. Those I haven't took a diazepam in over two years. So that could be another deterrent because that shit used to help me get through it when I had anxiety attacks. If I had one that bad, I'd just take the pill 15 minutes later and stop it right in the tracks. I got to deal with them shits now. I can't run to a pill. I can't be like, I be thinking about my dyes of pants, but I ain't got no uh, insurance out here to get that shit. It's really difficult out here. And those plans they got are expensive, man. I already got my car note and all the types of other shit I got to worry about. And then have a $365 bill a month. You know, and <laughs> now this possibility is I can use something as now with this new law that's been passed. I don't know if you guys know about this or not. Some of you don't pay attention um, because I have a downtime with my job. I can actually use that because they don't give a fuck about what you're what you were making. They only care about what you're making now. So the fact that my job is barely have any hours right now, I can show these motherfuckers my check stubs of what I'm making now. And I could probably get on that plan. Now they they upped the money because before it was like you had to be like under like a certain amount of month, like under a thousand dollars a month. And I make a I make enough that I I'm way far past that. But right now I'm not making that much. And I can show them because of the days I'm not getting, show them that shit right now. This is what I'm making. Oh yeah, we can put you on there. And then I got fucking health insurance. And I ain't gotta pay nothing. You know what I'm saying? This is a way to kind of beat the system. But I'm like, I ain't on no food stamps or nothing like that, you know? can't get those because those motherfuckers look at like how much you were making you know what i'm saying they don't go by what you're making now sometimes they will but it's i don't like to deal with the food stamp shit man it's like i get them every now and then it's cool it's easy but it's like this becomes a crutch man you stuck on them shits forever man you know i ain't trying to try to back away from that stuff i make enough money that i don't need that shit but right now i gotta do what i gotta do to get health insurance because like i said i need to take care of myself and I have not seen a doctor or been to a physical in like four years. I've gotten other kinds of checkups, blood checks, and make sure my I'm, I'm okay. I ain't got no hepatitis and no other shit or diseases and stuff. I do go to those kind of checkups frequently. But like those kind of checkups, like my actual, like what's going on? Is my, how's my stomach? I need to get this done. How's my heart going? All this shit needs to be looked at. And I got to do whatever I got to do because they crazy. But those shit, them health insurance plans, they fucking expensive, bro. Damn, man, it's more than my fucking car note, man. Almost four hundred dollars a month, and it could be because I told them I needed that medicine, and they said it would cost me ten dollars a month, which ain't shit. You know, I wanted to pay ten dollars a month, 
Arizona got some simple, easy ass insurance out there. As soon as you get out there, man, if you just if you just moved out there, the first thing you do is take care of all that shit. Now, they have a law out there. If you have any kind of mental health issues going on, no matter what, even if it's anxiety, they will give you insurance for the rest of your fucking life, and it's free out there. <laughs> That shit was so sweet. I had insurance since I moved out that bitch, and I had it till I left. And once I left, it was gone. Can't transfer that shit over here. So it was sweet, man. I went to the, and they don't give you no lip, no nothing. You got insurance. They don't give a fuck about whose insurance it is. They just know that it's getting paid for. <laughs> That's all they care about. But they don't do that out this way. Uh-uh. Hell fucking no. But uh, there was a law change that made it a little bit more accessible. And there are ways around it now. I think it was actually a higher amount. They made they made the amount lower. Actually, my bad. So uh, things have changed around this world, for the good, for the best, for the bad, for the worse. I don't know. Still trying to figure this thing out. We call it life. I think I got the upper hand on it though. Peace out.